Welcome to Buck Sciences. Today, we talk about autophagy pathway. A simplified definition of autophagy is that it is an exceedingly complex process which degrades modified, superfluous, surplus, or damaged cellular macromolecules and whole organelles using hydrolytic enzymes in the lysosomes. Autophagy can be defined in more detail as a regulated process of degradation and recycling of cellular constituents participating in organelle turnover, resulting in the bioenergetic management of starvation. Based on the type of cargo delivery, there are three types of autophagy systems in mammals. They are macroautophagy, microautophagy, and chaperone-mediated autophagy. Macroautophagy Whole regions of the cytosol are sequestered and delivered to lysosomes for degradation. Cargo sequestration occurs in the autophagosome, a double membrane vesicle that forms through the elongation and sealing of a de novo generated membrane. Microautophagy Microautophagy is the direct uptake of soluble or particulate cellular constituents into lysosomes. It translocates cytoplasmic substances into the lysosomes for degradation by a direct invagination, intrusion or septation of the lysosomal limiting membrane. Chaperone-mediated autophagy Chaperone-mediated autophagy has been characterized in higher eukaryotes but not in yeast. Because of the particular characteristics of this type of delivery, only soluble proteins, but not whole organelles, can be degraded through CMA. The core process for autophagy is the formation of a 300 to 900 nanometer diameter double membrane organelle, the autophagosome. Autophagosome biogenesis can be divided into the following stages, 1, trigger slash initiation, 2, nucleation assembly of an isolation membrane, phagophore, 3, elongation slash extension of the phagophore, and, 4, maturation of the phagophore by membrane closure, phagosome, followed by fusion with the lysosome. A massive accumulation of autophagic vacuoles including autophagosomes or autolysosomes has been observed in the affected brain region in several neurodegenerative disorders. However, the role of autophagy in each neurodegenerative disease has not been well defined. Accumulated autophagosomes in the degenerating neurons could be due to an increase or decrease in the autophagic flux. Sustained overactivation of autophagy, impairment of the balance between autophagosome formation and lysosomal fusion. An impairment of lysosomal components are considered to contribute to the degeneration of the nervous system, which is more vulnerable to protein misregulation due to the postmetotic status of neurons. Furthermore, insufficient autophagic degradation due to excessive autophagic demand because of abnormal protein aggregation could cause autophagic stress associated with neurodegeneration. Autophagy regulates several key steps of the immune response. First of all, in the innate immune response autophagy aids in direct microbial pattern detection and processing. Upon recognition by membrane-bound pattern recognition receptors and intracellular sequestome one p 62 like receptors, microbes will be degraded through autophagy. Moreover, autophagy-mediated removal of malfunctioning slash damaged mitochondria suppresses inflammation activation, since these organelles tend to release reactive oxygen species and double-stranded DNA which would otherwise stimulate inflammation activation and the subsequent production of inflammatory initiators. Additionally, autophagy may also aid in the unconventional secretion of cytoplasmic components like antimicrobial compounds and or pro-inflammatory mediators. The autophagosomal content will be degraded after fusion with lysosomes. The generated peptides may be subsequently presented by MHC class II heterodimers at the cell membrane, leading to regulation slash activation of adaptive immune responses. The serolimus and everolimus dependent pathway for the removal of plaque macrophages is indicated in blue, the autophagy inhibitor mTOR is marked in red, and oxidative damage is highlighted in yellow. Extra or intracellular stress activates stress sensor proteins, which further activate the cascading signaling events that lead to the induction of autophagy. Autophagy induction results in degradation of cytoplasmic contents, which can be damaged organelles or cellular components. This results in production of new raw materials for biosynthesis, and in energy metabolism that leads to enhanced survival in stress conditions. Autophagy can also result in degradation of essential cellular components and activation of apoptosis by activating caspases, which results in the onset of cell death and suppression of cellular growth. 
If you need related products or services, please don't forget to contact us.